Welcome back. Well, we'll take you back now to uh, the Popomolefe informal settlement in Rustenburg, where uh, the Community Safety Department and MEC has been embarking on a fact-finding mission uh, in the area. This is after that uh, gruesome incident over the weekend where nine people were shot and killed um, and eight were injured. Um, our reporter, Sintla Inglihi, is standing by. She's been listening into um, the conversation between the community and the MEC for community safety. Sintla Inglihi, a good morning to you. A heated and quite a lengthy debate there between the Community Safety MEC and the community, obviously an angry community that he met with today. Indeed, we're here at the Popomolefe informal settlement here in Rustenburg in Northwest, where we've seen the MEC for community safety and the transport management make his way here with a delegation of police to speak to the community here that is still reeling in shock following that unanticipated killing of nine people who were gathered at this very uh, 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 household here. Uh, they had gathered here, you know, just to unwind and enjoy themselves in the festive season. And lo behold, it appeared that uh, they were then attacked by, you know, some unknown individuals who came pouncing in this area and shot about, uh, you know, a group of those people who were hanging out in this area. Eight of them died on the scene and the ninth individual passed away in hospital. We understand that among those who have been hospitalized include a pregnant woman who was here on the scene. We had an opportunity to see the MEC engage with survivors and family members of the deceased to talk about the need to, in fact, have have a steady unit here that is going to keep an eye on the situation and ensure that police visibility and patrols are actually uh, um tightened to ensure that such eventualities don't occur again as it appears that uh, what happened on Saturday was an act of revenge emanating from yet another clash that occurred in this area earlier in September the community explains there that there's a clash between closer speaking and uh, uh, so to speaking individuals who clashed over stock theft what happened in September is that it appears that uh, um, the shacks or structures belonging to Basotho nationals were allegedly set alight by those who speak uh, Sesotho and by those who speak uh, Sesotho and it appears that, that those who speak Sesotho then attack these Kosa people here and the MEC actually spoke to those you know uh, concerns about the tribal clashes and the need to have you know a proper imbizo in the area to address these issues because it is important for us as South Africans to identify ourselves as one nation and not continue to perpetuate these acts of tribalism and uh, 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 ethnic led clashes but as I said to you we have spoken to many of those who survived and the family members and they're still battling to accept and come to terms with this major tragedy having explained to us that among the victims who were present on that very fateful day was including uh, just a small young boy about six years old who was also you know saved from being you know a casualty in this event but I'm just gonna take a moment to step out of shot to allow my colleague uh, to show you there that engagement with the greater community of who have come together there to you know engage with the MEC they share their concerns apparently in this very neighborhood given you know uh, the distance uh, between uh, the police station and the residential area crime here has become quite a major challenge speaking about the lack of development and you know the 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 the, 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 the informal structure of the neighborhood meaning that becoming a breeding ground for crimes and you know a place where a lot of fatal crimes are committed in the area but as i said the mec is continuing with these discussions there with the community to have them understand that police are going to be posted here 24 hours a day to ensure that these type of acts do not occur again and there will be uh, strategic movements by police to ensure that they disarm those who will be found with arms particularly unlicensed firearms of course, here the community really requesting more of a police presence. But we're going to come out of that. Sintla Inglihi, our reporter, speaking to us there uh, from uh, uh, the Popomolefe informal settlement uh, in Rustenburg in Northwest Province. And she'll be keeping us updated as the uh, MEC continues engagement with the very angry and concerned community thereafter. Nine people were shot and killed over the weekend.